Hey there, Audi S3 fanatics. It's Peter, your Audi S3 fanatic. Welcome to my channel, and we have another DIY for you guys today. What we're going to go ahead and accomplish is installing a CTS turbo inlet pipe onto uh, my S3. Now what we're taking a look at is, this is the turbo inlet pipe. It's supposed to provide a little horsepower, the amount, I really don't know. It's supposed to also add a little throttle response and perhaps offer some more sounds from your turbo. Uh, all these items are just things that I have read and heard through the forms, but today I finally have a chance to install it on my S3. Now, the process in itself is you're going to have to remove your intake and then that will allow you easy access to the turbo inlet pipe. Let's go ahead and take a look at my engine evolution intake. Here is the evolution intake made by engine. As you can see, it is essentially a three-piece component. You've got the piping here, you've got the airbox here, and you actually have the very front, I call it the ram intake that feeds into the air box. The turbo inlet is going to be right down here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and removed the piping from my intake box to the turbo inlet pipe here as this is the area that we're we're gonna go ahead and work on now not for sure if you guys can see but let me go ahead and kinda guide you here back here there's gonna be a T30 bolt that you have to remove I've got it right in there and all that you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and remove that bolt that connects it to the turbo and from there you're going to rotate the turbo inlet toward the firewall. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Make sure not to drop that bolt. And from my understanding, you do not need to remove it. Just loosen it. All right, so the pipe here has to be removed. And all I did was I just took a good hold of it and pulled it off with a little force. And while I was at it, I went ahead and turned the turbo inlet pipe toward the firewall. And we should be able to remove it. Just like that. Now here is the O-ring that you're going to have to remove to put into the new CTS turbo inlet pipe. Here we're going to go ahead and do a quick comparison of the two turbo inlet pipes. This is the CTS, this one is going to be the OEM. And as you can tell, taking a look at the OEM, it really bottlenecks from the intake side down to the turbo side. Here is the CTS and as you can tell, it does not bottleneck at all. So what we'll go ahead and do is we will remove the O-ring from the stock one and put it on here and go through the installation process. Now you'll see that I put the O-ring on the new CTS turbo inlet and I also put lithium grease to help aid in creating a nice seal as well as ease of installation. So we'll go ahead and install it. It's essentially just the reverse order. I believe the best way to do it is you're going to turn it toward the firewall like this. Once it's in, you're going to go ahead and turn it. And these pins here actually lock into the locking mechanism. Nice and snug. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it. So taking a look, it looks as though the CTS Turbo um, bracking back here is resting right on the turbo so that should do it. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly test it and see if this will screw in and it looks like it is screwing in so we are good there we've made a nice connection 
I'm going to hand tighten it and now I'll go ahead and just essentially plug in the piping. And you've got to use some force because it is pretty tight. Okay, so looks like the turbo inlet is in. I've got this securely in and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up now. That, my fellow S3 fanatics, is the installation of the turbo inlet pipe from CTS Turbo. All right guys, it's been about a week, week and a half since I completed the CTS Turbo inlet upgrade. So I wanted to provide you guys an honest opinion on it. Now I have put between 250 to 300 miles as well as half a track day. Now for what I spent buying it used, it was definitely a worthwhile investment. Um, but Dino definitely tells me there was some horsepower gain as well as some torque. Now from a data standpoint, you guys know that I've got the JB4. I log quite frequently and I have had a chance to compare some logs prior to what um, I have now with the inlet and to no surprise the boost levels are actually higher. I would probably say before the turbo inlet was installed I was seeing boost levels between 22 and about 24 pretty consistently and now I'm seeing it vary between 23 as well as up to 27 so I don't know if the JB4 has adjusted itself for perhaps better flow, but it definitely is a nice little bump in power that uh, I have been able to feel. So if you guys are considering getting a turbo inlet, definitely consider the CTS one. I give that one a thumbs up. And if you can find it used, even better for you guys. Once again, this is Peter, your Audi S3 fanatic, signing off.